in this video we are going to start a new topic one dimensional wave equation a homogeneous one dimensional wave equation has the general form utt minus c square uxx equal to 0 minus infinity less than or equal to a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b less than or equal to infinity and t greater than 0 where c is a real number other than 0 okay that is c belongs to r minus 0 r difference 0 now we try to solve this equation observe that the equation 1 <coughs> number this equation as 1 equation 1 is a second order linear partial differential equation so to solve this equation we have to determine type of this equation for that we consider discriminant of equation 1 also that here coefficient of uxx a is equal to minus c square and b is equal to 0 that is in the equation coefficient of uxt is 0 and c equal to coefficient of utt which is 1 so now determine discriminant of equation 1 which will be equal to b square minus ac substitute the values of a b and c then we will get 0 minus minus c square into 1 which will be equal to c square which will be greater than 0 so we can conclude equation 1 is hyperbolic so we can convert equation 1 into its canonical form by choosing appropriate non-singular transformation for that we will be using characteristic equations for hyperbolic pd which will be dt by dx i consider x as first independent variable and t as second independent variable so we can write the characteristic equation dt by dx equal to b plus or minus square root of b square minus ac divided by a substituting the values of a b and c we will get plus or minus square root of c square divided by minus c square which will be equal to <coughs> plus or minus c divided by minus c square which will be equal to minus or plus 1 by c so we have got the characteristic equation solving this we will get the non-singular transformation beta of x y and eta of x y so we can solve dt by dx equal to minus or plus 1 by c we have got two equations dt by dx equal to minus 1 by c and dt by dx equal to 1 by c first equation can be written as c dt equal to dx integrating both sides we will get ct equal to x plus a constant c1 integrating constant c1 similarly we can solve the second equation dt by dx equal to 1 by c which can be written as c dt sorry here i will get c dt equal to minus dx so integrating both sides we will get ct equal to minus x plus c1 okay in the second equation we will get c dt equal to dx integrating both sides and we will get ct equal to x plus some constant c2 now rearrange the equations we have got like this uh, x plus ct equal to c1 and x minus ct equal to minus c2 
okay so we have got zeta of xy and eta of xy zeta of xy is x plus zt and eta of xy is x minus zt so we can write that now define w of zeta eta equal to u of x of zeta eta and t of zeta eta so now we can convert the equation the given one dimensional wave equation equation one into its canonical form for that we have to find uxx and utt for that we first find ux ux will be equal to w zeta zeta x plus w eta eta x now substitute the values of zeta x and eta x we know what is zeta and eta then zeta x will be equal to 1 eta x will be equal to 1 so we will get ux equal to w zeta plus w eta similarly we can find ut which will be equal to w zeta zeta t plus w eta eta t this will be equal to we know what is zeta and eta so zeta t will be equal to c and eta t will be equal to minus c so substitute the values of zeta t and eta t we will get c w eta zeta minus c into w eta taking c common we will get w c into w zeta minus w eta now we can find uxx uxx will be equal to derivative of this by x which will be equal to w zeta 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 x plus w zeta eta eta x i have differentiated this term with respect to x now i have to differentiate w eta with respect to x plus w eta zeta zeta x plus w eta 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 x now substitute the values of zeta x and eta x then we will get zeta x is 1 eta x is 1 so we will get w zeta zeta plus w zeta eta plus w eta zeta will be equal to w zeta eta plus w eta eta simplifying this we will get w zeta zeta plus 2 times w zeta eta plus w eta eta now calculate utt utt will be equal to derivative of ut with respect to t that is derivative of this term with, with respect to t this will be equal to c into w zeta minus w eta t because c is a constant this will be equal to c into w zeta 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 t plus w zeta eta eta t minus i have differentiated this term with respect to t now, now i am going to differentiate w eta with respect to t which will be equal to minus of w eta zeta zeta t plus w eta 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 t now substitute the values of zeta t and eta t zeta t is c and eta t is minus uh, zeta t is c and eta t is minus c so by substituting these values we will get c into c w zeta zeta plus w sorry minus c into w zeta eta minus c into w zeta w eta zeta will become w zeta eta v because they are equal minus c into w eta eta which will be equal to now i can take c from 
each term so this will become c square into w zeta zeta minus w zeta eta minus w zeta eta minus w eta eta so we have got both uxx and ut okay w zeta eta minus w zeta eta will become minus 2 times w zeta eta now substituting uxx and utt in the equation 1 we will get utt is c square into w zeta zeta minus 2 times w zeta eta minus plus w eta eta minus c square into uxx uxx is w zeta zeta plus 2 times w zeta eta plus w eta eta will be equal to 0 now dividing this equation by c square we will get w eta w zeta zeta minus 2 w zeta eta plus w eta eta minus w zeta zeta plus 2 times w zeta eta plus w eta eta equal to 0 now observe that here we have w zeta zeta and here we have minus w zeta zeta so we can cancel these two terms and also we can cancel w eta eta minus w eta eta so we will get minus 2 w zeta eta minus 2 w zeta eta which will be equal to minus 4 w zeta eta which will be equal to 0 that is w zeta eta equal to 0 because minus 4 not equal to 0 so we have got the canonical form of one dimensional the equation it is w zeta eta equal to 0 so solve equation 1 we solve its canonical form w zeta eta equal to 0 means w zeta is a function of zeta only okay so w zeta will be equal to some function f1 of zeta okay now integrate the equation with respect to zeta we will get w equal to integral of f1 of zeta d zeta plus a function plus a function of eta call the function as g then we can write g of eta because we are integrating with respect to zeta which will be equal to integral f1 of zeta d zeta will be a function of zeta call this function as f of zeta plus g of eta where f is integral of f1 of zeta d zeta so we have got w equal to f of zeta plus g of eta to get the general solution of 1 we represent zeta and eta in terms of x and t that is we have zeta equal to x plus ct and and eta equal to x minus ct substituting these we will get general solution of equation 1 therefore the general solution of equation 1 is uxy equal to f of zeta zeta is x plus ct plus g of eta eta is x minus ct where f and g are arbitrary functions which are belong to c to r 